All right, hello Riven mains and Yasuo mains alike. I'm the Nightwing coming at you guys with another League of Legends video. So this basically is a follow-up video to Echo Fox basically because everybody's been wanting to know uh, will Riot terminate the uh, Echo Fox's LCS license because of the whole shareholder owner dispute with the whole racial slurs being thrown around against Rick Fox. Last time I actually had did a League of Legends news video, uh, just a, what about a couple days ago, uh, Riot said that if they don't, you know, get rid of this guy, they ha they're going to have to terminate their LCS license. And you know, I waited one day on making the video because I didn't want to, you know, say anything uh, more about it until something was actually uh, concretely going to be the thing. But then I realized that wait, something has has to have been said. I mean, when they they literally said Monday if nothing else happens and obviously something else is going to be going on and echo fox is a pretty decently sized big brand outside of league of legends they've had their fair share of league of legends struggles and i don't know if this is why their lcs team is really really struggling because this is something that uh the clutch gaming roster went through a couple weeks ago when they were really struggling with the whole new business and business and partnership moving in because you factor in that a lot of these new people start maybe you know start shuffling people around and then a lot of these people uh maybe uh have been saying the wrong thing personally about what's been going on in the scene now rick fox uh, i i just you know we actually went to the lcs this past weekend my friend you guys know jth he had seen he had actually seen him man if i had seen him i would have got a, i would have just got a picture with him but it was unbelievable of how like disappointed he looked. I don't know if that was a disappointment in knowing that he that he's going to be there potentially for the last few weeks of the LCS until it's over or if that was just disappointment that he never got Echo Fox to win a championship or if he never got Echo Fox to make anything higher than third place. Remember Echo Fox's best split was spring 2018 and I don't really yeah their record showed that they were pre pretty good but it was pretty much Hooney and Darduck the other guys were pretty meh at the end of the day at the end of the day it just really depended on the week that they really had but it's nice that they had a you know split where they were at least like first place material and then they got you know third place overall during that split and then they started falling off a cliff and then they fell even further off a cliff when they decided to pay money for mike young to be your jungler for the split which was absolutely uh not the right case but today Karo enki sports and entertainment owner of arsenal the denver nuggets and the los angeles gladiators has agreed to a deal that will see it acquire echo fox's league of legends championship series slot for 30.25 million sources familiar with the deal told espn the deal is pending riot games approval and at, and comes after the expiration of a monday deadline set by riot that that put echo fox which was co-founded by three-time nba champion rick fox in jeopardy of losing their league of legends championship series slot as reported by espn on friday since the weekend echo fox has scrambled to strike a deal with a suitor yeah uh that is not good news to hear if you're echo fox fans in general Echo Fox submitted a proposal to sell its slot in the LCS to a new investment group. LCS is reviewing the sale and will be meeting with the propo proposed ownership group in the coming days. LCS commissioner Chris Greenlee said, We're working diligently to minimize disruption to Echo Fox's players and staff. Uh, for the 2019 season in partnership with the LCS Players Association. If LCS rejects the proposal, Echo Fox has agreed that LCS will be taking over the sale process for the slot. Our goal is to make sure that we have an entirely orderly transition and a new team ready for the 2020 season. Yes, the league has said there needs to be 10 teams in this to function. And uh, obviously, Riot could find somebody, you know, uh, League, of Le League of Legends is incredibly so popular that you could easily find a big brand to come in and have a team. I mean, there's Faze. Uh, evil geniuses were once a team here. Maybe they might have want their slot back. There's a lot of other big brands that could easily come in here. Uh, you have Virtus Pro. If you guys have ever heard of them, they could easily come in here. But uh, it looks like that 
Karolinki Sports and Entertainment might be the next team. I wonder what the team name is going to be because you have Denver Nuggets. So we have Denver Nuggets, Houston Rockets, and then we have the Warriors. And it's really weird because looking at how franchising is paired out, you really never thought that the franchise teams would be like the weakest ones. I personally thought that at least one of them would be kind of in there as the new like uh, top team, but it never really panned out that way. And this was the LOL Esports Twitter page's tweet. Echo Fox has submitted a proposal to sell its slot in the LCS to a new ownership group. The LCS is reviewing the potential sale, potential sale and will be meeting with the proposed ownership group in the coming days. On May 15th, League of Legends developer Riot Games announced that Echo Fox would have 60 days to remove minority owner Amit Razada from its cap table following reports of Ryzda uh, using a racist language toward a business partner. That, that deadline was extended on July 15th to, to the 23rd after Echo Fox submitted a proposal for Ryzada's uh, shares to be transferred to an entity owned by a family member. Now, okay, basically, th th this is going to give you the you know whole line of uh, backstory on that. And then now we learned more about the Karolenki Sports and Entertainment executive, Josh Karolenki, the son of Stan and Walmart family heir, and Walton Karolenki has pushed for the company to be moved involved in esports at BlizzCon 2016, Anaheim, California. Stan and Josh Karolenki were photographed spectating esports matches with New England Patriots owner Robert and Jonathan Kraft and Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kautick. For the past two years, Sentinels have operated the Gladiators on behalf of the Karolinki uh, group. The Sentinels were originally founded as Phoenix One in May 2016 by former Paramount Pictures Vice Chairman Robert Moore and his son Michael. The group purchased Team Impulse's League of Legends Championship Series slot after the team was banned from the league by Riot for not paying its players. In October 2017, Phoenix One's application to become a franchise partner in the League of Championship Series was denied. Yeah, it's been a very, very long time since anybody has even, you know, heard the name Phoenix One. Uh, yeah, it was a long time ago for that happening. They've later on became somebody completely different. Uh, they've moved on from League. Obviously, you have teams like E United that have moved on when they were just in the challenger scenes. And then you have a lot of the other older orgs, you know, kind of just doing other things. They've gotten other bigger branding by now, obviously, because they've done other esports and were obviously super successful in. It's really hard to be successful in League in just the nature of which the game is because there's China and Korea to compete with. You also have Europe, which is coming up as a you know, top region in itself competing for that second slot. And then you have, uh, well, North America not really having the best players at the helm of what is here for us. But I think that is only the case because North American orgs never really specifically, you know, tried to build up talent. It was more just like, I think Sneaky said something about that a long time ago. It was just like after a certain a period in which like everybody just tried to get as many imports as they could. It wasn't more or less so focused on, you know, trying to actually build up talent. It was just more or less f so focused on immediate success rather than the long-term success because back in the day you also have to realize that there was a relegation and then there was times in which like you know relegation was something that nobody wanted to experience or nobody wanted to actually get relegated so they kept or overall importing good players so you would have the less likely chances of getting relegated now obviously you're gonna have a split where teams do very very bad that's just how things work we have franchising now in which teams do very very bad Sometimes maybe even worse because they realize that it's not franchise and they can kind of get away with stuff like that. But overall, when you look at it in terms of Echo Fox, you know, Rick Fox was obviously a really nice person. As I met him before uh, back in the spring, uh, you know, 2018, obviously. Oh, no, it, 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 what, what was it, spring 2018? Yeah, it was spring 2018 last year where we met, and he was a, such a nice person. I wish I could have talked to him a lot more. He was all obviously busy, and he was a real nice pioneer for esports in general. Obviously, he was one of the few people that, at that current point in time, let the world know he was riding on esports of, obviously, you know, his son liking World of Warcraft, him going to see CLG at Madison Square Garden, all of those things, you know, uh, pioneered his uh, love for esports and really shifted it towards the the game we have right now. And later on, he branded out to a lot of other fighting games for Echo Fox. Uh, they have one of one of the best. They have they literally are and have been supporting some of the best fighting game uh, people 
in the fighting game genre, you have uh, Palafox, you have Mewtwo King that are, you know, obviously sponsored by Echo Fox. Uh, having just those name, names alone shows me at least they were competent in picking up star players that, you know, weren't bad in general. And, you know, if you're picking up someone like Mewtwo King from Smash Melee, that's somebody that's like, okay, he could choose anybody. You know, that could be the thing. But I feel like that it's just something that shows me that they wanted to be on top. It just never panned out for League of Legends. In other esports, yeah, it panned out just for them just fine. They they have trophies for other esports in general. But it's going to be really sad to see him gone uh, because, obviously, he's not going to be in control of this at all. I, th I think he said he wants to do other projects. Uh, maybe that's just other things that might involve esports. I don't personally know at the moment. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about, you know, Echo Fox selling their League of Legends spot. And we'll have a new team by 2020. So, yeah, we're going to have a new team by 2020. And we're going to have the Immortals by 2020. And if Clutch Gaming just completely disregard the Clutch Gaming um, name itself, then we'll have Dignitas back. So, a lot of the familiar faces returning and a new face to return. It always feels like the LCS is due for another returning member. It always feels like a new team is going to serve us up at some point. You ever, you ever get, get that feeling that a new team is just going to serve us up because something behind the scenes is just going on? Like, like... If you've been around as long as I have, you know something behind the scenes has to, has to be going on and that something is generally not working out with some of these rosters, the way they play the game, the way, the way these coaches draft. There's always some, something going on. Like even this year, uh, we had a narrow for Golden Guardians and then this split when you first saw it, he wasn't even there tells you something is not obviously working out when these teams aren't winning because they're putting a lot of money into these teams and they want these teams to succeed. So that's it. I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy uh, the Nightwing signing out. See you guys later. Bye. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.